Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Think for a moment about what you really care about. Let's say you are an average working Joe, or a partnered mother with three kids. You have a family, a medium-sized house, two cars. One for your husband to go to work in, the other for you to do your family errands. Or the other way around, although not as common, let's say you bring in the majority of the income, and your husband works the homestead. Let's say you both work, hard and relentlessly, and when Christmas comes, if you celebrate it, it is a struggle to provide what you feel will make your kids happy, joyous, and excited. Let's say things aren't even that good. Let's say you struggle all of the time to make ends meet. Let's say you are really poor by our modern Western standards. Or, the opposite, you are pretty well off. Maybe your combined income is over $200,000 a year. But, of course, less than the millions it takes to be a member of the elite. Maybe you have a pretty high-powered job, with lots of responsibility and lots of fancy perks. Not too much, mind you, because if too much, you may be close to possessing the mentality, demeanor, and worldview of the special class. If you are up that high, you don't fit into what I am describing here. And, of course, I would doubt seriously if you were watching this video. So, let's say you fit my rather broad category of person in the world I have described here. What do you care about? Let me guess. First and foremost, if you have children, you care about them. You care about their physical health and their mental health. You care about their comfort, their schooling, their friends, or if they are ever in harm's way. Unless you have some serious personal problems of your own, that is probably your first concern, your children. Then, of course, your family comes next. Your partner, your home, and yourself as an integral part of your family. You are concerned and care about your neighbors and your community. You typically care about your extended family, your parents, your siblings and their kids and their comforts. Once those cares are taken into consideration, you may give some thought to the city you live in, the people you call your tribe, and the country you call home. Then you may care something about the world in general. Whether there is enough water and food for other people's children. Whether there is killing and destruction out there, and how safe you and your family might be in the world. You may even extend your care to the earth itself, to the health of the ecosystem, and whether the climate is out of control, and may pose a threat to you and your family within the next couple of decades. You do care about your children's children, and even the children their children's children will bear long after you are gone. And here comes the killer. You trust. You trust that the people in the world who have the power to take care of the things you care about, also care about the same things. They don't. Yeah, sure, they care about their own children, maybe, but I have my doubts. They care about the water they drink, the food they eat, and the safety of the bed they sleep in under the roof of the house they live in. But they don't care about you. Not one single iota do they care about you. In fact, they would just as soon throw you and your babies in an incinerator if it helped them achieve their own goals in the world. They don't care. So, what do they want, and what do they care about? They want power, they want money, they want to rule the world and make it what they want it to be, and maybe they want to serve the devil. I am not so sure about that one, but it would not surprise me, because I can't get it through my naive head how people could be so evil, cruel, and uncaringly calculated to do the things they do, and not be aligned with some sort of evil entity that has no soul. That's why it wouldn't surprise me. But usually, I just can't get my head around it. Maybe I am just naive and a bit stupid in insisting that every human being can be in touch with his soul if he or she makes the effort. But maybe not. The most important thing we must get into our collective head is this fact, they don't care. Before I continue the video, 
please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end, to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. Sure, there are some up there that do care. I do not mean to say that everyone past a certain income level is evil and uncaring. In fact, there are people in government who care, there are billionaires who care. I am certain of this. But anyone who reaches these unimaginable heights is more susceptible to being pulled into the clutches of the elite and thus will sell their soul to the agenda. I cannot tell you why this has happened, I only know it has indeed happened and the last three years are a testament to that fact. Yes, this was going on far before 2020, but starting in 2020, it became so clear and so obvious, only those with gouged out eyes could not see it. They don't care. Their world, their agenda, their concerns, their wants and their visions are so radically different from ours that they don't have an inkling of what actually is important for the world. Maybe I am wrong. Prove it to me. So why is the agenda good for them and not for us? because it serves an inhuman worldview. It supports eugenics, transhumanism, and genocide, among other inhuman schemas. It believes that the only way to keep the Earth intact, and thus keep the resources intact that they need for their elite and comparatively small group, is to eliminate a large number of useless eaters, through genocide, who really only excessively consume resources, pollute the Earth with their waste, and contribute nothing that will create their utopian world. Read Huxley's Brave New World and even Orwell's 1984 and Bradbury's Fahrenheit 451 to get a better picture of this global intention. All this hoopla about whatever is in the news is a distraction to get us to look the other way while the distributor is yanked out of our car so it won't run anymore. I am sure some of you think I am crazy, like David Vincent in The Invaders, Dr. Benell in Invasion of the Body Snatchers, like Sarah Connor in Terminator, and countless other warnings through media over the years. Throughout history, those who had legitimate insight into what was coming in the future were considered crazy by most until what they were yammering about became reality. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.